Yeah, yeah but you need, to need, you need to see what's set on there, on the program here. You, you have 75 and then 1, but we don't know what direction. Well, just listen how he does it. You show me where the button is. But be careful not to let your robot drive off the table yep. when you're using this function. Don't so download, and download and run. run. Yes. And as you can see, the robot moved forward. Yeah, because he had it. I'm going to move him a bit back, away from the edge again. See, we, we, so we don't know what... Software. Okay, I'm now gonna do it. an extra move during block. This time, I'm going to change steering parameter and I'm going to set it okay to minus one we got it the wrong way around and because it goes that way the arrow on top of the steering parameter so just leave it here to an arrow that turns left so let's try and run okay do that I'll put it in the next block Well, I did. So, so far, so good, eh? Mm -hmm. So, we're getting pretty close to what we wanted to go to make the robot go and turn left and when so it touches something. I want the robot to turn a bit further. So, now I'm going to change this duration to 1.5. And after that, I want it to move a bit backwards. So, I'm going to add another steering block. And then I'm going to change the power to minus 50. So by changing the power to minus 50, I'm going to make the robot move back. Yeah, 49 is all right. Yeah, 50. So let's download this and run it. Do it, Martin. Download and run. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I did that. That was good. So right again. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Just carry on with the uh, other tasks. And as you can see, the robot moved backwards as well. So that's how you build a program that makes your robot drive. See you soon. <laughs>